Hello, hello, hello everyone. I'm so excited to be coming to you with some huge, huge news of things that have been happening overnight on Instagram. So as you all know, I am a bit of an Instagram addict and just could not wait to jump on and tell you all about what's been going on overnight. And I am very excited to have a special guest joining me, hopefully. Let's see if we can get her on. I can see that she's watching, but I can't see if she can join. Can you join me, Danielle? I don't know, give it a minute while she figures out if she can join me or not. But maybe I need to rotate my phone. I'm not sure if I need to rotate my phone to get Danielle on. Shall we try? Nope, that's not working. So Danielle, let me know, can you get on? Are we having issues? Do I need to switch to the computer? Talk to me, I am so excited. I am like bursting at the seams. My inbox is rammed, so I just cannot wait to share everything with you all. Do we have Danielle on? Mm -hmm. Danielle, Danielle, Danielle. I don't think we do. I know Leona was having problems earlier on this morning, getting somebody on her live with her as well. Doesn't seem that she can join. And I can't seem to be able to add her in. Here we go, let's see. No? No option to join. I don't know what to do. Shall I try again? Shall I keep going? Ah, oh, I don't know what to do. Danielle, what do I do? Talk to me. You're the tech wizard here. Right. I think I am just going to go with it because I can see that there's loads of you jumping on. So I'm just going to go with it and tell you all what's been going on. If you are watching this and you have a team or you have friends that use Instagram, you want to invite them to this live because it has been going insane. My inbox is rammed and I know that there's loads of you with questions. So let's get into it, shall we? Thank you to everyone who is joining me live. Hopefully this will go into a podcast and onto YouTube so that everyone else is gonna have a little bit of brain space and stop their heads from exploding with everything that's going on with Instagram. So last night it became apparent that people in the uk were starting to have the feature of their likes being hidden so instagram brought this out they started rolling this out in about april last april this year so they started in places like australia they've rolled it out in italy and where else ireland so they started to roll it out slowly in certain countries but it wasn't here in the uk so for anybody that doesn't know anybody that's watching me for the first time i'm based here in the uk so i've been waiting for this happening i've been speaking to people um, that are in australia that have been seeing that their likes have been hidden and so i've been waiting for it to hit the uk and it seems that it has and it's not just going to hit the uk instagram are now rolling this out globally okay so it's going to go everywhere but they are just trialing it with certain accounts right now okay so not every single account in the uk is going to see their likes hidden currently right now i can still see mine and we can still see them on miba but daniel holmes was one of the first people i know um within the community who messaged me last night and said oh my god look what's happened my likes have disappeared so it's definitely being rolled out, but it's not going to be rolled out for every single account. Instagram are trialing this. They've said that it's like a fundamental part. So you guys will know that the thumbs up on Facebook is like a massive thing. It's a way that people engage. It's a way that, you know, people show their appreciation for content. And so by Instagram taking away this, it's kind of like, wow, it's the total opposite to what Facebook are encouraging you to do when they're saying we want you to like stuff. Instagram taking away this feature is like the total opposite. But there's lots of reasons um, why they're doing this. So they're doing it mainly because they don't want it to be a competition, okay? They want you to be able to go to Instagram and feel that you can post whatever you want and other people aren't going to see your likes. So that takes away that pressure. And they're focusing on it being like a really safe place to be. There's been lots of updates lately 
with um, anti-bullying, with you being able to report and block different accounts, um, like reminders when people are writing malicious comments, they're like now flashing up, do you really wanna post it? So Instagram are working really hard on trying to create a platform that is um, a really safe and nice place to be. And they've even said that if this has like a bad impact on their sales and stuff like that, they're not bothered because they're more bothered about the sort of mental health side of things for other people. They want it to be a place where you can share what you want to share without the pressure. So people are wanting to share pictures, but they're feeling like they're not sharing those pictures because they feel that they're not good enough in comparison to some other people. So from that perspective, I can totally understand why Instagram have done this. So how is this going to affect you and your business if it happens to you and when it happens, if it continues to roll out? It is not going to stop you from seeing your likes. So as somebody, um, as a business owner, you are still going to be able to see your likes. So for example, for Isn't Mums in Business Association, we like to see what content works. We want to provide you with um, with content that is of value to you. So it's important for us to see what you like most. And we're still gonna be able to do that. So if you have an Instagram account for your business, you're still going to be able to see what's working for you. It's just the fact that other people aren't going to be able to see your likes, okay? So really, it's not going to change a great deal for people that are running businesses. So then on the other hand, you've got influencers. So there's, I'm gonna tell you a really funny story. So when I've been reading upon the articles and stuff, this literally happened yesterday, um, about nine o'clock last night, I was in bed. I was like looking through all the articles that I could find. In fact, there's not, there's not many out there. So keep an eye out because I'm gonna be posting a blog today talking about everything that we're talking about right now. So you can go check the blog out as well. But it's quite funny because whilst I was reading through um, the articles last night, Nicki Minaj and Cardi B have both kicked off. Nicki Minaj has said that she is going to boycott posting on Instagram if they take away the likes. And Cardi B has actually said that she feels the comments are more toxic than the actual showing of the likes. So you're getting a total like different response from different people. Influencers are panicking that they are not going to be able to connect with brands. So when a brand goes to Instagram and they're looking for an influencer to collaborate with, influencers feel that this is gonna hinder them because brands are not going to be able to see their engagement and see the amount of likes on their posts. But the thing is, as somebody um, who speaks to businesses, who works with influencers, who is an influencer themselves, it's, it's so much more than just the likes on your post, okay? So if you're an influencer or if you are wanting to become an influencer, it's not just about the likes on your post. So you there's still like so many automations going on now. You can have automated followers and Instagram are doing their best to get rid of all this um, like fake followers, fake layout likes, all of that stuff. They're doing the best that they can, but it's still happening. So people could be out there buying fake followers, buying their likes, buy in their comments even, okay? So you can see, I can tell straight away, if I go to somebody's account, I can see if the comments are genuine or if they're just nice pick and stuff like that. If that is what they are, they're automated and I can see straight away, these are not engaged people, these are not content. So it's so much more than just the likes, it's about the, the comments, it's about the DMs that you have with people which nobody else can see. Nobody else can see what goes on in your inbox. You could be having the most incredible um, relationships. You could be having the most amazing conversations that are leading to sales. Nobody else can see that, okay? So when you are looking for an influencer, look for more than just the likes. If you are an influencer and you are panicking that brands are not gonna wanna work with you because they can't see the likes, you don't need to panic either because there's so many ways that you can show that you have an engaging tribe, okay? Um, I have less than 3,000 followers on my personal Instagram account, Estelle Keeper Official for anybody that isn't following me, but my engagement is super high and that's because the people that follow me are people that genuinely follow me because they want to follow me, because they like what I do, because they wanna learn more about Instagram, because they want to grow their business. So they know what they're getting from me, okay? They're not just there for the sake of being there. They're not just millions of followers that, that don't engage with me. They're people that are there genuinely asking questions, talking to me, having conversations. So it's so much more 
than just the likes on the post. And that's what everybody needs to remember right now. It's so much more than that. As long as you can see what's working for you in your business and you can keep creating that content, you don't need to panic. As an influencer, if you're like, if you know that you're creating a good hype and you've got a good engagement, you don't need to worry about the number of likes. You don't need to worry about the fact that people can't see the number of likes because it's your content. It's the things that you share that people are going to be interested in, okay? So I hope that's cleared things up for a few people. Um, and I hope that that eases your mind a little bit in the fact that Everything isn't going to go to shit just because Instagram have taken away the likes, okay? And one thing's for sure, I'm not going anywhere. They can take away the likes. They can do what they like. Just please don't take away Instagram stories because it's my favorite thing in the whole entire world. So I would love to know, do you have your likes? Can you see your likes still? Are they hidden? Let me know in the comments, where are you based in the world? And do you still have your likes so i'm going to go through a few of the comments so there's lots of people saying that they can still see their likes um black nova design have lost theirs danielle says i love the idea and i think it's going to be a great way to be an influencer as it's down to genuine engagement yes exactly that is what i'm saying um, Alex said it's a great idea it will be good for business too I think people won't be influenced by likes so it's a better opportunity for smaller businesses it will help us all stop comparing each other yes exactly that is what I'm talking about and especially like let's take away from the business side of things let's take this to being mummies okay because I've talked about how this is going to impact on your business let's get to the like why Instagram have done this it's for our younger generation do you know how, um, well, I know you guys will know because you're going to be mums as well, but the amount of times that I hear that girls don't, like they take pictures down because they don't get enough likes or somebody won't share a photograph um, because it won't get a lot of likes. They're kids. They're, they don't have businesses. The fact that our children are worrying about what pictures to put on Instagram because they're not going to get enough likes or they're going to get picked on because their pictures don't get enough likes is absolutely mind-blowing. And if that's what we're doing to our kids now, what are they going to be like in the next five years? We've already been influenced by this flashy laptop lifestyle and everything being amazingly perfect on Instagram. We're trying to pull away from it so hard to make sure that people can see what real life is like and what authentic, like, do you know what I mean? Just being yourself and the, the like, the good days and the bad days and the days you look like shit and the days you don't look like shit and the good bits of the day and the bad bits of the day, rather than it being all this airbrushed pictures that are unachievable, if it's gonna have a positive impact on those people, then surely that's a good thing as well. So from both perspectives, whether you're a mummy, whether you're in business, whether you're both, this is going to be a good thing, I feel. So we, who do we have? We have Sarah saying she has her likes. She is in Sheffield. Danielle is saying she is in Canada and I can't see how many likes. So she's lost them there. Um, Kelly in Wales is saying that she can still has she still has hers. Alex in Nottingham still has hers. So from what I'm hearing right now, most of the people that are watching still have their likes. So it is still slowly rolling out in the UK. But one thing is for sure, it's going to go everywhere. Um, it's probably not going to be every single person straight away, but it's definitely going to be crossing over every single country. And I think they're just testing it. They're going to see how it works. Instagram have said themselves, it's a fundamental part. That liking situation is a very fundamental part of Instagram. So they've got to make sure that this is what people want, that, that people are going to benefit from it before they actually do it. So... I hope that that clears things up for a few of you. If anybody has any comments, please let me know. What do you think of this? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? How do you feel about um, the mental health side of things? Are you an influencer? Are you panicking? Let me know because I would, I want to know. I want to learn. Like this is new. It's happening in the UK right now and I'm super excited. As you all know, like anything that's happening on Instagram excites me extremely. Um, so yeah, watch this space. I will keep you updated with anything else that goes on. Like I mentioned, don't forget there's going to be a blog post going out today, so you can go and check that out. 
and I will see you all on my Tuesday night live. I may see you before that because we're at Fraser's event this weekend. So I'm sure at some point I will be jumping on to show you behind the scenes of what's going to be going on because we're going to be there speaking in front of about 1700 people this weekend which is so exciting i'm very excited to be speaking and sharing our tips with everyone so if i don't see you over the weekend i will see you on tuesday for my regular instagram tuesday night live